Hello, here we are again. Just a few thoughts which I hope will encourage you. I've been thinking about the past week and uh, you'll agree with me that even during the past week you won't have heard anything on television about uh, the worldwide church and uh, you won't have read anything in all probability about the Christian church in, in the daily paper. But uh, we need to remind ourselves that Jesus said, I will build my church. And ever since he said those words, uh, he has been building his church. And uh, the church is growing abroad. The risen Lord Jesus said to the disciples and told them to go and to preach the gospel to all nations. And that is what has been going on ever since he gave that word of commission. And uh, if uh, you're not familiar with any missionary societies, then I would suggest you try to find out something about some of them. For example, uh, the Missionary Aviation Fellowship is doing a wonderful work around the world. Open Doors is another missionary society which is working abroad. The Bible Society, they have uh, branches all over the world, including our own country. And there are hundreds, literally hundreds, of missionary societies at home and abroad which are seeking to fulfill uh, the command of the Lord Jesus to go and to make known the gospel. And Jesus is building his church. But as I said before, uh, the church is not only the building of Christ, it's also referred to as the body of Christ. That comes in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 15 and 16, where Jesus is referred to as the head of the body and the church is the body through whom he works. And uh, he has been working through missionary societies right down through the years. And it's wonderful also to remind ourselves that uh, with modern technology like television uh, that uh, uh, societies can reach into countries which are opposed, unfortunately, to the Christian faith, but can't prevent television programs going out. And so Jesus works through his body, the church. And I'm sure you probably know that the, uh, the church is also referred to as the bride of Christ. He is the bridegroom and the church is the bride. You'll find that in John chapter 3 uh, verses 27 to 30 where John the Baptist refers to Jesus as the heavenly bridegroom. And uh, when you think of that relationship that we have as Christians with Jesus, he is our bride, uh, he is our heavenly bridegroom, we're his bride, and what is it that bride and bridegroom show? It's one of the, the characteristics is love, isn't it? Bride and bridegroom who have fallen in love. And, uh, this is a great theme of many hymns, uh, hymns that speak about the love of the Lord Jesus. Even as children, you probably know the children's hymn, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves me. And then George Matteson's hymn, Oh love, 
that will not let me go. Written after, unfortunately, his engagement was broken off because he'd gone blind. And his fiance felt that she couldn't go along uh, with her commitment. But in his sorrow and sadness, he's reminded of the love that will not let him go, the love of the Lord Jesus. And uh, another hymn, of course, is uh, In Heavenly Love Abiding. Abiding. We need to abide in his love. Jesus loves us and uh, he wants us to be loyal to him. And he said to Peter, didn't he? Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord. Jesus said, well, feed my sheep. Go and work for me. Go and witness for me. And we know that Peter was the apostle to the Jews. And he was not only loved his Lord, but uh, was loyal to him. And so Jesus says to us, do you love me? Do you love me? Lord, you know. Lord, yes, Lord, we love you. Then Jesus said, well, go, be my witnesses. When you have the opportunity, tell others about my love for them. And so we have this wonderful message of Christ's eternal and saving love, which we want to share with others. And we trust and pray that during this week, past week of uh, mission, that there will be those who will have heard the voice, as it were, of the Lord Jesus, realizing God loves them and he has shown his love in sending his Son to be our Saviour. So, thank you for this opportunity just to share these thoughts with you, and I trust there will be a help to you. The Bible says, abide in his love. So keep abiding in the love of the Lord Jesus. Remind yourself day by day, he loves me and gave himself for me. Thank you, Lord. Just a brief prayer. We do thank you again, Heavenly Father, that in a very sad world, there is this message of love and the promise of eternal life. And we pray that we might have the opportunity of sharing your love with others during these days. Help us not to be afraid and help us, Lord, to speak graciously and sincerely in your name as we have opportunity. These things we pray, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, well, good to see you and look forward to a brief word next week. Bye-bye and God bless.